For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hundreds of people across Mexico took to the streets on Wednesday, May 26th. They were demanding justice for 43 students who have been missing since 2014. Parents, students, and members of the National Coordination of Education Workers, CNTE, carried with them photos of the victims while marching. The rally marked 80 months since 43 students of Ayotinapa Rural Teachers College were kidnapped after traveling to a protest in several buses. The events that led to their disappearance are still unclear. Students from the Rural Teachers College, known for its leftist activism, had commandeered buses to travel to Mexico City for the commemoration of Tratelocco Massacre of 1968. On their way, they were attacked in the city of Iguala by law enforcement officials who shot at the buses. They killed six people, including three students, and detained 43 students who were never seen again. The then government of President Enrique Peña Nieto claimed that the local police had handed over the 43 students to a group of drug traffickers, the Guerreros Unidos Cartel, who allegedly killed them, incinerated the bodies, and disposed of the remains in a nearby river. However, family members of the victims and human rights organizations alleged that the federal government and the army were directly involved in disappearing the students. Many believe that the national government used the Guerreros Unidos Cartel story as a cover-up to protect high-ranking officials and institutions. Human rights and student activists pointed out that the students from the Rural Teachers College were active in the protests against the Educational Reform Bill proposed by the Nieto's government in 2013 and were committed to struggling against the neoliberal regime. Nieto's government received harsh criticism from around the world over irregularities in the investigation of the case. On Monday, May 24th, the U.S. government handed over an investigation file on the case to the Mexican government. Andres Manuel López Obrador had requested the file from Kamala Harris during a meeting earlier this month. The files claim to have significant leads that can help resolve the case. However, the Mexican president said at the moment that the document is still classified. The protesters also demanded the release of the detained students of Magdumatza. 19 students have been kept in custody since May 18th for demanding democratic conditions in the selection exam to enter to work as teachers. The marches were held on Wednesday as part of the 80th Global Action for Ayotzinapa and Mexico.